you know what I am? I haven't posted a video for a, for a good few days. Posted a little short saying how disappointed I was that, like, obviously, I don't know, like, I just thought, I don't know what, I had, what idea I had in my head about this channel. Obviously, I had a bigger idea than the reality. Like, I want this channel to do well because right at this moment, I'm just a criminal who's got out of jail. He lives in an approved premises hostel with just an idea in his head. I want that idea to go far. So I want to put stop knife crime. I want to, even if I could just stop one young offender, say one young offender every month for the rest of my life, I'll be happy from going down the path of life I've chosen. I need your help to get the word out there that it's not about carrying a knife all about the old fashioned straight huh? and it's definitely not about jail so it's night time now I'm in my bed so you imagine the night so you're in jail probably first time in got a missus little hattie maybe she's she, you've got a kid with her it's a lot of well, that's how it is these days isn't it and uh you got a phone in your pad but the phone locks off at about 11 so like you're chatting to her while she's at the pub and Chatting to while she's getting ready, chatting to her while she's at the pub. Then come 11, it's club time, isn't it, G? So, when that phone cuts off, that's when she's going out clubbing. She hasn't had no affection, no sex, no touching, no cuddles, no compliments for fucking however long you've been in there. And then she's getting bare male attention there. You get where I'm going with this? This is what I mean, you do not want to go to jail, so... Your mum and dad, like, or your, your teachers, they're, they're, oh, don't go to jail because of this and that. They've never been there, I've been there. I'm telling you now, you do not want to be sat in that position. It is fucking horrible. And then, and let's get it right, because all, all birds do it. One in every fucking thousand is staying loyal to you while you're in jail. Very, very few. And you will find out when you're in jail. And it fucking hurts I mean it hurts like you wouldn't believe like it hurts that much you feel it physically and aching in your heart and it, you can't get out there you can't pop down the road and go and see her and say Lisa oh, I'm everything's okay I'm here because you're locked away you get to see her for an hour three days you know, it two hours it depends what jail, jail you're in but normally it's about an hour every three weeks uh, an, an hour three times a month, sorry, I think three weeks, an hour, uh, an hour three times a month. Jail's hard, man, trust me. Like, the first few times, like, it does get easier after time, but you don't want to get to that point. I start, I first got locked up when I was 14, secure unit, then went to Brinsford. I told you the Brinsford story, didn't I? When I had the shit kicked out of me by the screws. All my life, all my good years, my 16th birthday, my 18th birthday, my 21st birthday, my 25th birthday, my 30th birthday, all the big ones and bare more birthdays, I've probably spent, in the last 20 odd years, I've probably spent three Christmases on road. And like, if you got kids, you're missing out on all that. It's having to just phone them, like, on, on the prison phone, like, and... If your missus ain't seen it, yeah, another thing, like, like you say your missus misses your canteen the one week, she got no credit then to speak to your people. Oh, God, there's so many things in jail, but because it's night time, I just thought I'd talk to you about like, what it's like on the night. And it's hard, it's the hardest part. So the day you're all you're out and about, you're having a laugh, because let's have it, I'll be, I'll be straight with you. <laughs> in jail, it's a laugh. You have, if you, you, you got your little clicker, mates, you have a laugh, you do. You've got no responsibilities, you can just be immature. You're a fully grown man, but you've got no responsibilities. You've you got no rent, your food's all there for you. you, you everything's just there for you. Um, so you've been out all day having a laugh with all your pals. And then bang up comes. That door shuts behind you, bang. Locks. Silence. Put the telly on, sit down, you're chilling, 
and that's when all the that's when you have all the that's when all you, you, you all the to, all you've got to do then is think think about what your missus is doing think about how your mom is hoping that your grandma's okay i lost my granddad i did when i was in jail my grandma and my granddad have been together for i think 60 or 60 or 70 years one of the other I don't know. Yeah, about 65 years i think they've been together since i was kids and i had two years left when this happened Really close with my granddad, my granddad, and really close with my grandma. And he died, and I had two years left. Now, my little sister and my brother, and my older sister, and my older, just little dusters, I can't lie, I, can't, I ain't really got much time for them. They don't, they've done nothing for them. I'm in there for two years. I've got two years left, sorry, I was in there for four. I've got two years left, they're doing nothing for them. So I've got on the night, I've got my worry about my grandma. You see all these adverts come on the telly oh, about old people who are living alone. And can you imagine being living with someone for fucking 70, 80 years and then the, your, your partner, your lifelong partner's gone. It's fucking horrible. But since I've been out, I've been seeing my grandma enough. I love her. As, as it goes, I need to go and see her this weekend to be fair. My health hasn't been the best um, <clears throat> since I've been out. But that's another story for us. I said in one of my shorts I was going to tell you all about it, but I'll do a whole uh, I'll do a whole video on that next. But listen, like the, the the point of this video, point of my channel is to try and prevent young people going to jail, spending the rest of their lives in and out of jail. But also I'm reaching out to the parents. So if there's any people out there, parents who've got problem children comments i put comments in there ask me for advice and i'll give you the best advice i can i believe that i've been a shit dad i have can't lie i haven't been a good dad to or any of my kids not a bank one dad anyway um but now i've been in that position where i've been in and out of jail in and out of jail i think i'd make i'll make a better parent because i'll be say if my kid starts getting in trouble i know what to tell him i know what to say to him I know what to do to prevent it, do you get me? But is it doesn't matter how, how hard you are, how tough you are, when that door locks on a night, bang, all the locks go on, and all them feelings and thoughts flood over you. Mate, believe me, there's not one man who's been to prison who hasn't cried behind that door on a night about how long he's got, about his missus has cheated on him about, I don't know, about fucking anything, about the fact that he didn't get his enhanced or didn't get his family visit. It hits you, man, when that door shuts. So listen, let's get the message out there. Let's get, I need more subscribers. I need more fucking likes. I need more comments so I know what to talk about in my videos. I promise you I'll start posting more. But please help me get the word out there. Eventually I want to be going into schools, doing talks. I want to get big, I want to be out there, I want original number one life change to be a brand name, do you get me? I want people to know, man, that I've changed my life and I want to change others. So please help me stop knife crime and stop young people going to prison. Yo, I'm out anyway, I'm tired of that. Fucking shitty AP. <laughs> Love.